हाई एवरी वन शेरबिन फ्रॉम ऑल सी पी एल टॉपिक फॉर टूडे सेशन प्रोजेक्ट फाइल स्ट्रक्चर इन एंगुलर फिफ्टीन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न एंगुलर फिफ्टीन प्रोजेक्ट फाइल स्ट्रक्चर लेट स्टार्ट इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट डिफॉल्ट एप्लीकेशन और हाउ टू क्रिएट हेलो वर्ल्ड प्रोजेक्ट इन एंगुलर फिफ्टीन इन दिस सेशन वी विल चेक द फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर और प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंगुलर फिफ्टीन वेन वी क्रिएट डिफॉल्ट एप्लीकेशन और वेन वी क्रिएट द प्रोजेक्ट इन एंगुलर फिफ्टीन दीज आर द फोल्डर एंड फाइल क्रिएटेड बाई डिफॉल्ट द फर्स्ट फोल्डर इज कॉल्ड डॉट एंगुलर we will check one by one dot angular the use of angular folder to maintain the cache this folder is not available at the time of project creation when we run our project in visual studio code at that time this folder is created angular folder should be ignored by your version control system git svn etc basically the angular folder maintain the cache and the next folder is vs code the vs code folder holds your project workspace setting no project dependency in this folder this folder related to vs code only and the next node module node module folder let's check the node module folder this is our node module folder in node module folder having list of the libraries node module folder is generated when we run npm install command node module is a container having all packages folder available as per the reference available in package log dot json and package dot json node module folder contain libraries and files node modules folder also contain third party library all these files are bundled in our project together no need of node module folder while deploying our application somewhere else next folder src uh this is our src folder in src again having one folder app in app having some files <coughs> let's check one by one the root folder is src src is also called source folder project source code available in this folder and then inside the src having one more folder app app i folder is called application folder contain modules components file for our application and inside the application folder having app dot route route uh, route folder inside the application folder 
having some files we will check one by one first we will check the application application dot component dot css file application dot component dot css contain the css code for your component the next file component dot html the html file pointed to the to the application component it is a template for the angular application and the next file component specific ts file basically this uh, the use of this file is for testing purpose unit testing and the next file is component dot ts file entire functional logic is written in this file this is important file and the next one is module dot ts file TypeScript file hold all dependencies. Here we will use ng model and define the bootstrap components when loading the application. And the first file is route file, application route dot module dot ts file. basically this is a route file and the next one is assets folder let us check the assets folder in assets folder we will check one by one assets folder here we keep resources such as image, styles, icon, etc. And having one file favicon.io file, this is an icon appear in browser tab of our application. Uh, this is default favicon file. You can replace this file as per your uh, project icon. And the next file is index.html file. This index.html file is a basic HTML file, or we can say this is a root HTML file. And the next one is main.ts. The starting point of our application is bootstrap start the app module from the app module dot ts file we can also say this is our starting point of our application and the next is style dot css this is a global css file suppose you want to define any common feature or any style that is style will apply to the entire project then we will define the style uh, property in style dot css file Now the next edit config file, the file, this file deal with concurrency in code editor to organize some basic such as uh, indentation and white space more like code formatting. And the next one is git ignore. Suppose you want to ignore any file during the check in or in this scenario we, we will add this file into the git ignore. And the next one is angular js ang angular dot json file. This file define the structure of our application. It in it includes setting associated with our application also we can specify the environments on this file for example development production etc 
this information we maintain in angular.json file the next one is the next important file package.json file this is the npm configuration file all the dependencies all the dependencies mentioned in this file we can modify dependency version as per our need on this file the next file package.log.json whenever we change something on the node module or package.json this file will be generated it is associated with npm and the next one is readme.md file this file created by default it contain our project description it shows how to build and which angular cli version has been used next file ts config this configuration file override the ts config file with relevant app specific configuration and the next file ts config base dot json this file has been introduced in angular 10 plus earlier this file is not available it has the same configuration as compared to ts config dot json file and the next file ts config json typescript compiler configuration file this is responsible for compiling typescript to javascript so that the behavior will be understood so that the browser will be understood ts config specification dot json this file override the ts file dot json file with app specific unit test configuration while running the ng test command these are the basic structure these are the basic file and folder structure of angular 15 project if you have any query you can write in comment section